I would tell you to stop stop watching this video and literally go watch the movie. Like right now. Right right now. Hi, welcome to my channel. This video, this is my top 10 Netflix movie recommendations. And the first on the list is Leave the World Behind. It's supposed to be a realistic apocalyptic type of movie that even Barack Obama himself approved to be really realistic and would have more chance of happening than a zombie apocalypse. Which is very unsettling because... It was very confusing at the end and it was pretty much a letdown at the end but the reason why i recommend it is because if barack obama himself said yeah this is more likely to happen than a zombie outbreak then that means he's probably warning you and you should probably start preparing so i gave that movie a 7 out of 10 um i don't i'm not that hard to rate movies on but it was pretty good i enjoyed it even though the end was throughout the movie it was a little weird because they want to tell you what's going on but that's the thing about the movie like that's the whole that's the whole thing about the movie that's why it's realistic because for it for the whole world to go into this sort of chaos nobody knows what's going on so you don't know the people in the movie don't know the whole world don't know what's going on so that's why it's very confusing and that's why I give it a 7 out of 10 because it's like, I'm confused. I'm not watching this whole thing just to still be confused at the end. How does that work? The next movie is The Good Nurse and I didn't know this was based on a real life story but that movie was so intriguing. Like it's about this nurse who transferred into another hospital and she becomes friends with another nurse who's a man and comes come to find out that man has been killing his patients on purpose. Like he would put stuff in their liquid and be like, write it off as an accident or like some kind of heart failure. Just be lying, just killing these people just because he can. He It was sick. It was really sick. But I did enjoy the movie because based on an actual story, Mm, a damn shame I tell you and I gave that a 10 out of 10 not even gonna lie a 10 out of 10 this next movie is Morbius and it's a Marvel movie I watched it at least five times ever since it came on Netflix I watched it five times already and it follows this man named Michael he's a doctor he's a genius who also has a friend named Milo and they both have a disease where they're unable to walk so they have to walk in crutches it's it's kind of funny when they walk fast, like the way they move. And I shouldn't be finding that funny. Because, you know, then again, it's a disease and it could be real. I didn't even look if it's real. But it's like one in a billion chance that someone has this. So, like, am, am I wrong? Probably am. But we're not here to talk about that. I don't want to spoil but Michael does find the cure of their disease. And when I say it's kind of demon-ish, yeah. Yeah. But I do rate it a 10 out of 10. If I could, a 20 out of 10. If I really, really, really could, a 100 out of 10. If you didn't like Shazam, I can tell you this movie, Black Adam, you will like. So, Black Adam is kind of like an anti-hero. Like, think of Red Hood. Think of Red Hood. Think of Deadpool. Like, he's gonna kill them. He's gonna kill them. Does he care? Like, even though the heroes came and pulled up on him and was trying to beat him up because he's killing people. But he's like, I don't care. Like, you see they doing wrong. And y'all ain't doing nothing about it. Y'all just sitting there talking about something. Let them, let them fight it out. Let them do. No. He not about that. He don't sit there and talk. Like, he, he kills people. Like, he beats them up and he kills them. Like, there's mad scenes where he just be picking up people and just throwing them across the world. Like, and then they just fall and die. That happens too many times in the movie. Not even gonna lie. But if you need a little spice that Shazam was a giving, Black Adam gives it to you. And not gonna lie, I'm clocking in. Where's that second movie? Where's that second movie? Where is it? You came out with a second movie for Shazam? I don't care. Don't care. Don't care. I don't care. 
Please tell me, does anyone have Shazam as a favorite superhero? You see how it's silent? Mm. Okay. Shazam sucks. Black Adam for the win. One thing about me, I'm always going to watch a horror movie. Like, I, I'll be eating horror films up. As soon as they come out, I watch the trailer. I try, I feel it out first. If, the, if it doesn't look good in the trailer, I'm not going to watch it. No shade, but Exorcist, that new movie that came out, you wasn't going to eat, and you didn't. It was trash. And I don't care what anybody say. That movie was trash. Like, there's only a few films that really got me. The the Saw series, the Conjuring series, the Annabelle series. The Nun, it was all right. It was all right. And this series right here, Insidious. They just came out with a new movie called The Red Door. You know what I did when I saw it was on Netflix? Do you want to know what I did? I watched it. After I watched it, I, yo, I did get spooked. They did get me. They caught me like three times in that movie. They caught me. I'm not even going to lie. When the, when the boy was under the bed. When the boy was under the bed. When the demon came out of nowhere. And then when she, when the, the black girl put the lights on. And when she put the lights on, there was other people under the bed. So she was just... She was about to get attacked by all these ghosts. And it's crazy because, like, how you, how you supposed to fight ghosts? How you supposed to fight a ghost? We're not Ghostbusters. We don't have vacuums. How you supposed to fight a ghost? Because that Haunted Mansion movie, it had me confused. Because how are they out there fighting ghosts? How? You can't, you can't fight ghosts. You can't do that. You could become one after they, after you come across one. Like... Mm. You're gonna, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. But I gave that movie a nine out of ten overall, just because the man in the Insidious series is also the same guy in the Conjuring series. So when I first saw Insidious, because I always grew up on Conjuring, I ain't know nothing about Insidious. So when I did watch Insidious, I'm like, what is he doing here? What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be over there with Lauren. What, what are you doing here? Was it Lauren? Laura? But it's like, you're not supposed to be here in City. It's talking about some, oh, when I go to sleep, I go in the other realm. I go in the, 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 no, no. You're not supposed to have powers. You're supposed to be a regular human being. Like, that made no sense. That really made no sense. Why are you in this movie? Why are you in this series? It wasn't even just one movie. It was a whole series. It was like five movies. The Conjuring wasn't enough? Let me find out. The Conjuring wasn't enough? Annabelle itself wasn't enough? It wasn't enough? Really? It, it really wasn't? Like, come on now. But I gave it a 9 out of 10 because the kid was annoying as in the son in the movie he was annoying because the son ended up having powers i mean if you watched the insidious um series you would know that the, the kid has powers just like his dad which is why they go through each and every single movie like this like it's, it's always something but that kid was annoying and he should have left that black girl alone because who are you who are you to bring this black girl to all this because for all she know she needs to leave white people alone and you are a prime example why she needs to leave white people alone. Because she almost got choked out by a demon. She couldn't even see the demon. She couldn't even see it. That's the crazy part. She was getting choked out by air. She couldn't see nothing. But yeah. I gave that a 9 out of 10. It was pretty good. Will I watch it again? Probably not. Like, probably not. It's like a, a one time. Nah. I ain't gonna watch it again. I'm good.